In this section, we'll be learning more on generative adversarial networks. This is one of the most important findings in the deep neural network community. The generative adversarial network, aka GANG, has the ability of creating new outputs from existing output. There have been uh, various definitions of GANG. So, DC GANG with deep uh, convolutional neural networks and there's also a conditional gang and also a tomogan uh, which is used for tomography of denoising images which come from uh, x-ray of uh, substances so there are different set of uh, generative adversarial network defined by different research groups to generate images in most of the time so there are two main components with the gang so GANG has a generator, which is the part which creates the inputs uh, from existing input and a discriminator, which is going to judge what you create. So the basic example is like there's a counterfeiter who is going to create fake, uh, fake outputs from the known input. So let's say you have random noise here. So the generator creates a fake image out of it and the discriminator it's trying to understand whether this is fake or real so the idea is once the generator creates a fake image the discriminator says this is close enough to a real one or this is a fake one so this gives a feedback to the generator so generator learns to improve its uh, fake generating engine so that it creates a number in this example a number which is uh, real and which is equal to number 8 so this is not exact the number 8 but it is close enough so the discriminator is saying this is close to number 8 so at that point the training stops and the model is generated so this is the basic output so there's a counterfeiter and there's another person who is going to check whether these counterfeits are as same as the real ones so the generator becomes a, a better trained model uh, when the discriminator for the feedback so at one point the generator create an output which the discriminator cannot discriminate whether it's a real one or fake one so these are some examples so these uh, the usage of gang so here in this example it has tried to create faces out of known images so this image looks like a created one but it's close enough to generating a real image so it uses existing images and it's trying to generate new faces so in this example it's trying to draw things so this looks like a bird and a fish in a certain way but this is trying to generate an image so uh, this is by learning a lot of paintings in the deep neural network and it's trying to paint uh, on its own the DC gang so DC gang it has convolution uh, layers so in the generative model it's trying to create an output image by learning from an existing image so it has different convolution layers and finally it provides this layer so this is the generative model of the uh, uh, gang the most important part of the gang is the generative model because that's the one that you are going to use later so you have a discriminator but discriminator is just going to evaluate your model but the generative model which is being fine-tuned by the feedbacks from the discriminator is going to be used in the testing uh, scenario because in the testing one it's not actually a testing you feed a set of images and it generates a new set of images or new set of outputs which is uh, an automatically ungenerated uh, images uh, learned via unsupervised learning but it's more like you have a set of images and you, you have a set of mapping so it knows what it needs to generate uh, but the output generated it's not like one-to-one uh, -one mapping it's more like an approximation of what you expect so this is one example where you try to uh, uh, combine features of uh, men wearing glasses and man without a glass and it's trying to generate a woman uh, without a glass so so this is some example so it's trying to generate certain things so you mix up certain features and you say how to create another feature so this is how you create a smiling man so you have a smiling woman a neutral woman and you have a neutral man so it's trying to uh, learn from here 
and trying to negate this feature and trying to generate a smiley man so this is one example and here it's a nice attempt to uh, generate bathroom so if you can train a, a model uh, very accurately you can create uh, a new models uh, like architecture model so this can be applied in various ways so this is a good paper to read so the reference is down below you can take a look at the paper as well